Governments and businesses are lying about their climate promises. That we heard today from the head of the United Nations as it released a new and urgent climate report. It suggests the world is running out of time to get global warming under control. If we don't act immediately, scientists say the consequences will be catastrophic. The co-chair of the report insists it's now or never. CNBC's Diana Olick on the ultimatum they'll issue today. It is a file of shame, cataloging the empty pledges that put us firmly on track towards an unlivable world. The rhetoric is heating up right along with the planet, as the United Nations released another in a series of damning reports. It argues the world needs to do more to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, because as of now, it is, quote, almost inevitable that the Earth will surpass the critical threshold of 1.5 degrees Celsius warming above pre-industrial levels. That limit was set by the Paris Agreement. Beyond it, so-called tipping points of disaster become more likely. Already last month, the east coast of Australia saw devastating flooding, and an ice shelf the size of New York City fell into the ocean. Last Friday, the latest measure of snowpack in California was found to be barely a third of what it normally is, after the driest start to the year on record and a late March heat wave. The U.N. report does note that some progress has been made, especially in lowering the price of renewable energy. The challenge now is really to step up the pace of that action. We have the tools, we have the regulations, we have the policies. We need to make them tighter and we need to spread them more widely. But much, much more must be done, namely that fossil fuels should be phased out and replaced with renewables, a major shift from the IPCC's 2014 report, which kept them in the mix along with carbon capture technology. It also calls for methane emissions to be cut by a third by 2030. The report emphasizes that funding of renewable energy, both public and private, falls far too short, three to six times lower than where it should be. The money is there, the report says, but financial institutions, governments, all of commercial finance are not adequately assessing climate risk. Shep. Diana, thanks. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.